from mysterious temples in India to the dangerous cave of crystals. These are the strangest caves in the world. Number 12. Devitashka Cave, Bulgaria Welcome to the Devitashka Cave. Nowadays, it's home to over 30,000 bats, but thousands of years ago, it was a shelter for paleo-humans. Thousands of years might be an understatement, since archaeologists found traces of human presence that date back some 70,000 years. Apart from the residents, the beauty and strangeness of the cave has not changed. The biggest hall in the cave has an area of 26,000 square feet, and the ceiling reaches heights of 200 feet. The giant openings in the main hall are definitely what made this cave famous on a global level. This might not be the first time you see this cave if you're a fan of the Expandables movies. Number 11. The Carlsbad Caverns, New Mexico Located in the Guadalupe Mountains of New Mexico, this national park was 250 million years in the making. Turns out the area was a coastline for an inland sea, and the caves were an elaborate reef. When the sea dried out, earthquakes and tectonic plate movement brought the reef above the ground. The biggest chamber has an area of about 8.2 acres, or 350,000 square feet or the equivalent of 6.2 American football fields. The ceiling reaches heights of 255 feet. Surprisingly, those are rookie numbers. The big room, as it's called, is only the 28th largest in the world. The cave system was discovered in 1898 by Jim White, a 16-year-old cowboy that stumbled across the caverns when he saw a swarm of bats appear from the ground floor. His first description of the hole is interesting to say the least. Standing at the entrance of the tunnel, I could see ahead of me a darkness so absolutely black it seemed the solid. Jim Big Cojones White, as he should be called, returned to the area a few days later with some rope and a hatchet. He decided to explore the hole by himself without telling anybody. To top it all off, that was the first cave he was ever in. Some days after the first exploration, Jim came back to the cave with a friend only known as Muchacho. They descended into the darkness with some homemade torches and light supplies. Three days later, they emerged, having only covered a small part of the giant system. In this picture, you can see a much older Jim White standing next to a guano bucket that was used to extract the bat poop from inside the caves. At the time of the photo, it was used to lower tourists down into the system. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I went on a tangent here, but Jim White deserves the exposure. It's rare to learn of such an adventurous soul. Would you be willing to do what he did? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Personally, I don't think that I could. Number 10. Benagil Cave, Portugal if you're visiting the southern coast of Portugal, you will undoubtedly be guided to the numerous caves found there. Some are completely submerged by water, some span thousands of feet into the rugged coastline, but none of them hold a candle to the Benagil Cave. Named after the tiny nearby village that was rejuvenated by tourist interest in the area, this cave is a treat to the eyes. Speaking of eyes, does anyone else think the ceiling looks like an eye? Number 9. Phraya Nakhon, Thailand Thailand is blessed to have some of the most interesting and beautiful natural scapes in Southeast Asia. Some are famous and right in the open, others are hidden in plain sight. Yes, that's a temple, and yes, the ceiling of the cave has a giant opening that allows sunlight to come in. If you visit the temple at the right time, you can see the sun shine directly on it, which creates a mesmerizing view. Since 1966, the cave has been part of the Khao Samroy Yacht National Park. Number 8. Cave of the Crystals, Mexico On a regular day, without proper protection, a human can only last about 10 minutes in the cave before things go from okay to dead. Why? Because temperatures in the cave reach 136 degrees Fahrenheit with up to 99% humidity. Sheesh! The Cave of Crystals contains, drumroll please, some of the biggest crystals found in nature. Explorations are scarce, photos of the inside even more so. Considering it was only discovered in April 2000, a lot more time will pass before we know everything about this mysterious cave. Number 7. Marble Cathedral, Chile 
continuing our journey south, we reach one of the more mesmerizing sites on this list. After thousands of years of water erosion, this marble coastline was shaped into what we see here. This is definitely not a place you go to just because, considering its remoteness. Also, it's often referred to as the Blue Marble Cavern, but depending on the time of day and sun position, the colors can vary drastically. Number 6. Waitomo Caves, New Zealand Ah, the Waitomo Glowworm Caves, a place that is made for clickbait. This limestone cave system is a major tourist destination of New Zealand. It's not a recent thing either. Tourism in the area has been the main source of income for locals since 1900. The local Maori people knew of the caves since the 1800s, but they were not extensively explored until 1884. Some British colony government shenanigans in 1906 required the Maori chief Tane Tinora to sell the land for a measly 625 pounds, the equivalent of 72,000 pounds in today's money. Boy, inflation sure is fun. In 1989, the land was returned to the descendants of the Maori chief, and since then it has been an almost family-oriented business. Number 5. Fingal's Cave, Scotland Perhaps the smallest cave on this list, it was named after the hero of the epic poem by the same name. It measures in at an astounding 297 feet deep and 75 feet high. And believe it or not, the photo you're looking at was taken in the year 1900. Since its discovery in 1772, the cave has been featured in numerous art and literature works, including a song by Pink Floyd and the movie When Eight Bells Toll. Number 4. Jomblang Cave, Indonesia You see those light rays? That's the entrance. So unless you're ready for some hardcore adventure, steer clear from this cave in Indonesia. Apparently, the rope that you rappel down with can only hold 264 pounds, so that eliminates like half of us. Don't lie. Although I don't see why someone can't bring their own rappelling gear, right? Legend has it that in the 1960s, communists were rounded up from surrounding villages and dumped into the massive hole, never to be seen again. It's fact that there was a communist purge in Indonesia, but this specific story sounds like something to scare the kids with. Number 3. Manjang Gul Cave, South Korea Hey, did you know that there is something called a lava tube? It's formed by flowing molten lava that eats through already solidified lava. Anyway, the Manjangul cave is just that, a lava tube. Formed sometime between two to three hundred thousand years ago, it's considered to be in excellent condition. As for size, it gets up to 75 feet wide and 100 feet high. And get this, it's 5.5 miles long. For reference, the longest known lava tube is the Kazumura Cave in Hawaii, coming in at a whopping 40.7 miles long. Number 2. Ellora Caves, India this unbelievable cave system consists of more than 100 caves, each of them offering unique experiences. Without a doubt, the most famous of them all is Cave 16. You are looking at the largest single monolithic rock excavation in the world. In other words, the Kailasha Temple was carved out of one big rock. It's dedicated to Shiva, but it features many more different gods and goddesses. And on top of that, it also summarizes two big Hindu epics. Even though there is no official proof, the latest this temple was built or cut to be more exact was in the 8th century. It's generally agreed that the whole Ellora Cave complex had three major building periods. The Hindu period of 550 to 600 AD, the Buddhist period 600 to 730 AD, and later Jain and Hindu periods between 730 and 950 AD. Seriously, this place is a little too much. In a similar vein, the Elephanta Caves have a lot of history behind them as well. They can be found on, you guessed it, Elephanta Island. The complex can be dated back to the 5th century and the primary use for the location was Hindu worship. So what's so strange about this cave system? Well, there is absolutely no evidence left over by the builders. Not a single inscription can be found on the island, and it has been common word around the area that the caves are not man-made. Judging by the elaborate designs and painstaking detail in the sculptures, it was no small project. 
Legend states that the Pandavas, the heroes of the Indian epic Mahabharata, were the ones who built the caves as a place for worship. Number 1. Ice and Glacier Caves Around the World In most cases, ice caves are old limestone or lava tube caves that are covered by ice year-round. Although they are pretty cool, not much changes inside. Some ice formations and natural sculptures will definitely keep your interest. Oh yeah, some of them look like a nightmare waiting to happen. On the other hand, you can find yourself exploring a cave inside of a glacier. These ones are formed by running water from the glacier. On a danger scale, glacier caves rank way, way higher up. Considering the terrain is forever changing and sudden changes in the weather or glacial motion can cause collapses. On top of that, the paths you explore today could be different or completely gone next week. Mapping glacial caves is a fool's game, but hey, it's not every day you get to see what the inside of a glacier looks like. The world's largest glacier cave, depending on weather conditions, is the Mount Rainier Cave System in Washington State. Would you go in? Just to set the mood, we're talking about exploring a constantly changing ice cave system that can collapse and is also located on top of a very large active volcano that is long overdue for an eruption. New videos are coming out every week, so make sure to subscribe. In the meantime, check out these strange abandoned military sites. See you there.